B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. I'm B2B Cambodia's Darshana. Thanks for watching. Today we're speaking with Mr. Thira Petmalaigul, the founder and president of the company Global Success Partner in Thailand, which provides consultancy to businesses looking to expand in the ASEAN market. Today we'll be discussing his new business initiative, Life DNA, which provides a unique technological solution to improving health and wellness. Hi, thank you so much for speaking with us today. First, could you please give us an introduction of your background? Yes, um, my name is Thira. I'm, I'm Thai, and actually my background is an engineer. I'm a mechanical engineer. But I've been working so many years, almost 20 years with the oil industry, mm -hmm. uh, Exxon Mobil, uh, in the company in the U.S. And about 10, over 10 years ago, I started my own consulting firm. And now I'm focusing on the AEC country, mm -hmm. Southeast Asia. And now I'm, I'm, I'm planning to bring the, uh, the, the technology into, into the uh, Southeast Asia. Yes, so today we're here to kind of discuss this new venture that you have, Life DNA, mm -hmm. which is kind of like using technology to help with health and wellness. Mm -hmm. So could you first just tell us a little bit about Life DNA? Yeah, you know, in the world today, we are in a very busy, you know, the modern lifestyle. And of, top, of course, that lifestyle it creates some issue. Mm -hmm. Okay. And is it better if we can know the information and we can prevent something before it actually happening? Right. right? right. So the technology is already there. Okay. We are partnering with the company in the US that they can do the DNA testing. I mean, for some of you who might not know uh, about the DNA testing, the, comp the, the, the technology today, we can take a sample, can check your DNA, and there are many applications. Can even test where your ancestor from, okay? How many percent you form with, with ethnic group, right? So now we are going to another, another area called the health science, okay? We can check the DNA test and be able to predict what is the risk of having the long-term disease. Basically, everyone through the pandemic, I mean, you know, you everyone familiar with taking the some sample, right? Mm -hmm. But this will be the from the uh, uh, saliva, okay? So basically, the we take the sample, okay? We send to the lab. The lab will analyze it and check against the database, mm -hmm. huge database, right, okay? Right. Big data. Mm -hmm. And that will indicating the risk of some certain area, mm -hmm. okay? And that information will feed into our uh, AI uh, capability application that can take that big data, the DNA data, plus the AI will start to work with individual. Mm -hmm. I mean, because everyone who have the risk is not necessary, they will get sick, right? I mean, I'll give you an example. My family have the history of diabetes and some cancer. Okay, but depending on my lifestyle as well, I mean, I'm not smoking, I, I exercise regularly, I eat healthy food, some lifestyle that I take, right. okay, not to having that, to lower the risk, mm -hmm. okay. So from, from that perspective, once we have that information, the AI in the application will start to work with individual, right. okay, collecting some lifestyle information, mm -hmm. okay, and together with that, they analyze it a lot of data here. And they analyze it and they start to provide some useful recommendation that you right. can use in your lifestyle. This type of DNA testing has already started in other parts of the world, especially with kind of heritage and things like that. So here in Southeast Asia, particularly in Cambodia, you do see like a scope and an interest for this kind of technology? Southeast Asia is in total about 600 million people. Right. It's a big, big population mm -hmm. area. And of course, I mean, different country, different ethnic city have different issues. Mm -hmm. Okay, they are higher risk in some area than the other, right? So even, I mean, Cambodia or Thailand or Vietnam, we are some still slightly different because maybe the food, the, the genetically different. So definitely the big, big demand, okay? You, 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 you know, people tend to live longer nowadays and not only that because of the lifestyle it's created some issue so just for my very last question i would like to ask if you could give us a reflection on 2023 how it was for you and i mean your you know the sectors and industries that you work in and then what are your main expectations for 2024 
2023 actually is a very tough year for many industry. Okay, uh, in Thailand as well because we just came out from the pandemic, right? But on the health and wellness, mm -hmm. on the contrary, it's actually growing. Pe people actually, since the pandemic, people stay home. Okay, I, I can tell you two things that change. One thing, people stay home a lot during that period, and people tend to know how to use the social media, mm -hmm. social commerce, to buy things. Mm -hmm. People now very familiar with application, okay, buying things online, right? So that is really in the sense, I think, increase the, the, the awareness of the health and wellness segment. Mm -hmm. And actually the sale actually going, going skyrocket. Okay. Right. So what I see is the health and wellness will, will just a growing industry. Mm -hmm. And with the technology that we're bringing in, it's going to be another level mm -hmm. because we can, we can do in the scientifically way. Mm -hmm. Okay. And scientifically approach that have the backup. Okay. Because there's so many products in the market actually, but how can you tailor the right quality product to the right group of people. Thank you so much for your time today. It was great to hear about this new endeavor that you're pursuing in technology, health and wellness. Um, and it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. You've been with B2B Cambodia. Thanks for watching. Join us next time as we continue to bring you more news, updates and developments from the business community in the Kingdom of Cambodia.